I've been listening to the background music for like the past hour. Cause, yeah. I was gonna stream at like 10 a.m. today cause I, I had a meeting later today with my sister at like 3 p.m. So I was like, oh, I can only stream till one. But then the meeting got canceled. So I just left my TV on for the past hour and I've just been listening to this. And it's actually kind of nice. It's the intro music for the game. My eye is so itchy. Oh my god. But good morning. Good afternoon. I am early. It is 10.59. Wow. On time for once. Also today I'm wearing a bedrobe. Because that's what people always wear when they get murdered in their homes. Anyway. Today is Tuesday, exactly one week until Halloween. So all week up until the fateful day, I'll be doing Halloween theme streams. We're gonna be doing scary games, a couple of planned streams, including an NPC stream on Saturday. Decorating pumpkins, baking a pumpkin pie, and more. I will not leak all of what we're doing, but we're gonna have a loaded week this year. I think last year Halloween, I only did three streams, but this year we have a whole week full of Halloween content, guys. It's gonna be fun, surely. Okay, so today we are going to be playing Paranormal Sight. It is one of the highest rated games I've seen in the year. I think it came out in either March or May of this year, 2023. And I see like nine out of 10s, 10 out of 10s. Apparently this game is really good. Just to read the quick bio, the game is called Paranormal Sight, The Seven Mysteries of Han Hanjo. How far would you go to bring someone back from the dead? Discover the depths that some will go to in this horror adventure game. Set in Hanjo Tokyo's Sumido War during the Showa period in 1926 to 1989. This is the unsettling tale of those with the power to curse, derived from the gruesome real world urban legends, The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. Follow the Cursed Seven as they embark on a supernatural ordeal over a three-day period to realize their desperate hopes and dreams. Scary. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to start. Also, I'm gonna be playing with my hair because I'm not. I'm trying to get used to having it down more. So I'm gonna be playing with it a lot. Also, the game is rated mature. Um, what are the trigger warnings? It's in the pin chat. Trigger warning: um, blood, violence, and strong language. Thankfully, no sexual stuff we love that um all it's fake it's fake it's not real it's a video game also the stream is tagged as mature so just click watch the stream anyway guys <laughs> okay i have to close it because i opened it on my alt account just so i can have the music no spoilers but suica game Dude, I'm, I cannot wait to play it. I'll play it next week for stream. Got Bob today. I assume I'm going to be doing voices because it seems very story driven. Ah, you are here. Welcome. Welcome. I have been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the storyteller. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I shall be your guide going forward. Now then, before we begin our story, there are several things I must bring to your attention. First, this game uses autosave. Cool. The game will automatically save at regular intervals, so you may stop playing at any time. Saving is very <laughs> saving is a very important element of games. It is the only way to keep your memories in place. If you do not wish to rely on autosave alone, you can save manually via the menu. Now please look at the upper right of the screen. This is the menu button. From here you can check the text log, view useful files and switch auto mode on and off. You can also adjust the brightness, volume and other settings in the option menu. For instance, if there is a voice you would prefer not to hear, you can mute it by setting the voice volume to zero. 
I suggest you check the brightness controls and other settings now before going on. Oh, I have to like move my left cursor. <laughs> okay. I'm turning vibration off. I'll keep voices on for now, but I might disable them later. this is oh it's nothing okay back I will explain other essential functions when the time is right oh there was one more thing I wish to confirm before we continue it would feel strange to go on without knowing your name please tell me what I may call you my name is Peason I see. Oh, no. I see. He's in underscore 17, is it? He's getting my Nintendo name. No. Oh, how rude of me. Please pardon my mistake. I'm sure that's what you said, but it seems I was wrong. What came over me? Let's try again. You wish to be called Peace In. Yes, sir. The underscore is dumb! Also, you looked at my Nintendo name, you freak. Hi, Kobobo. Yeah, any- because Twitch added the content um, flags like a month or two ago. So that way they can kind of like... Flag like profanity or suggestive content, which makes sense. So it automatically will have a content warning for mature rated games, which is good in my opinion. I don't want people to get scared. But hope we're doing well today. Can we get some yo's? Hi, Go Bobo. <clears throat> I see. Very good. I seem to have gotten it right this time. All right. Now that we've been properly introduced, let us begin our story. <laughs> From antiquity to present day, regardless of how society and civilization evolve, death has been a constant presence that none have ever escaped. Whether it's one's own or that of someone close, death is always a difficult thing to accept. This is an immutable reality of values shared by all, no matter the age in which they live. In fact, oral traditions reflecting people's fears and prayers regarding death still remain, ghosts, spirits, and so on. Similarly, in attempt to defy death, many curses, rituals, and customs have been born, from burning spirit incense to summoning the souls of the dead. Some of these secret arts are still being passed down to this day. And, on that note, peace. This may seem rather abrupt, but... Is there someone you wish to bring back from the dead? What if... What if you had one chance to use the secret art of resurrecting the dead? Yes, if you had the power to bring someone back to life one time, and one time only. What would you do? Um. Um. The only family member who's died was my grandpa. And he didn't have a good quality of life before he died. Because he suffered a stroke. Ooh. <laughs> 
So honestly, I wouldn't bring anybody back because I have the belief that like if somebody's gone, keep them gone. Like there's no point in living forever. There's genuinely like no point. Also, I'm gonna move chat around. Here, and then. There we go. I think that looks a tad better. Okay. I'd use it even if I had to sacrifice myself. I'd use it if I had to sacrifice someone else. I'd use it if it came at no cost, or I wouldn't want it. Let someone else have it. Okay, how would there be no cost? That's a lie. Yeah, I wouldn't want it. Let somebody else have it. Like, there's other people who have lost... Others. I'm gonna keep this here for now. <clears throat> I see. Very interesting. Yes, yes, that is what I thought you would say. Hmm. What seems to be the matter? Ah, you want to know what this box that has been sitting here is? It is quite the curious thing, isn't it? This is called a color television. The world I will be sending you to is full of devices such as this that do not exist in the age you are from. In this era, a colored television can be found in nearly every household. That is not all. For example, if a person should wish to contact someone while they are out of their home, they use public telephones like this that can be found all over the city. Can you imagine what life would be like in such a time? I'd be thrilled to have you continue this story, Peason. After all, that is what you came here for. No. So let us begin. I have kept you waiting long enough. I present to you Paranormal Sight, a bizarre tale surrounding the curse known as the Rite of Resurrection. A peculiar yarn is snaring nine men and women in a fierce fight for their lives as it unravels. Some of the characters appearing within Shirley. Some of the characters appearing within Shirley share your views on the Rite of Resurrection. I imagine those who have lost someone dear to them will particularly will feel particularly strong about it, clinging to it as their last desperate hope. The first I shall introduce a man named Shogo. Okii. Okii? I don't know. Shogo Okii is one of them. Okay. Finally, lore time! Also, hi, Wheel. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Uh-oh. Oh. I wonder what it could be at such a time. Announcer. Early this morning, the body of a drowned man was discovered at a park in Sumida City. Police have identified the body as... Sh oh. I thought he was going to be a protagonist. Police have identified the body as Shogo Iki, a 25-year-old man who worked at a company in the area. As signs of a struggle were found, the Sumida police suspect foul play and have launched an investigation. Oh, <laughs> Excuse me, please pay no mind to what you have just seen. Goodness, you were nearly, you very nearly saw something that would have spoiled the story. Just pretend you did not see that. Let us turn back time a smidge and start again from there. Do you understand? You saw nothing. Dude, he just spoiled the whole game. Whenever you play scary games, it's about death. Yeah, because death is scary. You know nothing. I know nothing. I'm Kalulis. This story is a work of fiction. All locations, characters, organizations, legends, etc. that appear in this game have no relation to reality. Nothing is real. Everything is a simulation. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Shogo? Shogo, are you alright?
Hey, can you hear me? Huh? Hey, that's not a proper answer. Earth to Shogo Iki. What do you think you're doing falling asleep here? You gave me quite a shock. Come on now. Up with you. Up. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, that's a different voice. Okay, and? There. How's that? All right. Do you feel dizzy? Have a headache? Are your humors off balance? I'm fine, I think. There's definitely nothing wrong with my humors, though my head's still a little fuzzy. Office worker, Shogo Iki. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Turn your head around a little bit to see if you can walk all right. <laughs> when the game is in your control, use the right stick or swipe the screen with two fingers to look around. Try looking around your surroundings now. Ooh, it's 3D. Okay, that's cool. There's the coveted telephone booth. Any Doctor Who fans in chat? Type 1. Ooh, that playground looks like a bug. It's also really dark. Good, good. You seem to be fine. What a relief. Do you remember anything like where we are or what we were doing? Um, no, I'm clueless. Oh, no, you look so confused. You're messing with me, right? Stop it. You're scaring me. All right, let's just calm down. Take a good look around you, okay? Look around and select things you want to investigate. You can converse with people by selecting their faces. Hmm. Where are we? Oh, right. This is Sumida City, Tokyo. We're at Kinshibori Park near Kinshikuto Station. Yoko brought me here saying she needed my help with something important. It's just past midnight. That explains why there's nobody else around. Spooky spook. <gasps> Hi, hacker. Why'd you do a board emoji? <laughs> Sorry, the emote code for that emoji is literally colon board colon. <laughs> Hi, hacker. Can we get some yo's? <laughs> so silly. Telephone booth. These telephone booths are all over town. The lights are always on so they can be used in an emergency. Hmm. Maybe I should call somebody. I think I passed out or something. Anytime you bump your head, guys, always go to the ER. You never know if you're gonna have, like, brain bleeding. Slash SRS. That's an interesting-looking playground. I bet it's crawling with kids during the daytime, but it's kind of peaceful here at night. Yeah, it literally looks like a bug. <laughs> Dude, I hate seeing her. Yikes, that was close. If we died right before we got our hands on the Red Resurrection, everything would be over before it started. Uh, I'm still a little woozy. What the hell is wrong with me? There's a girl here? Um, who is she? That's Yoko Fukunaga. Good, at least I can remember that much. I first met her about a month ago. She's 23, works as a housekeeper, and is really into the occult. If I think harder, I can probably recall a little more about what's going on. We've only met a few times, but we've really hit it off. She's a lot of fun to be around. I have no idea how she feels, though. I get the sense she isn't thinking about me that way right now. But I know I've got a thing for bubbly girls who are into dark things like the occult. 
Okay, why is why is he thinking about like rizzing? That should not be your priority right now, man. Okay, since the recall button is here, we're gonna move chat again. <clears throat> Let me think. What can I remember? Okay. Her name is Yoko Fukunaga. We met about a month ago. What's the deal with this park? Flashback! It was around noon on one of my days off. I had just finished running some errands in Kinshuko and was here taking a quick break. I was just looking around absentmindedly. When I noticed this squirrel loitering around, she was digging up holes in the sandbox and searching around the playground. She seemed to be enjoying herself, talking to the animal figures and petting them on their heads. My curiosity got the better of me before long, and I struck up a conversation. Hey, are you looking for someone? Or something? <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry, I must look like a total weirdo. Um, yeah, I guess you could say I'm looking for something. If you want, I could give you a hand. Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help, but... But? Are you really just a good Samaritan? Or are you, you know, after something else? Huh? <laughs> I'm trying to smash! Nah, you don't... You can't be too upfront right off the jump, okay? I'm a good Samaritan. Oh, wow, my hero! People like you really do exist. I think I might cry. Okay, I guess I'll let you help me. Be warned, you might regret what you've gotten yourself into. No worries. What are you looking for anyway? Did you lose a bracelet or something? Not exactly. I'm searching for one of those seven mysteries. Supposedly, this is the location of the Whispering Canal. The what? Now I've done it, I bet you think I'm some kind of lunatic. The Seven Mysteries of Honjo. Do you know anything about it? I figured everyone around here would have at least heard of it, but I guess not. Honjo is what the southern part of Sumida is called. A long time ago, this part of Tokyo was split into two separate cities. The north part was Mokojima, and the south part was Honjo. Huh. Um, am I boring you? Well, I'm not a local or anything. I just work around here. Oh, then no wonder you didn't know. Well, the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo is a legend dating all the way back to the Edo period. Really? It's that old. That's like over 200 years ago. Oh, I caught your attention after all. I just assumed it was one of those fake stories made up to chase the cold craze. <laughs> I don't blame you. A lot of the popular stories going around are pretty fishy. But the seven mysteries of Hanjo are different. Because they're all true. They're true? That's what I said. They're the real deal. So, hold on. What does that mean? Are you telling me there is actually paranormal stuff at work in this park? Yep. Pretty much. But there's gotta be more to it. After all, I've... After all I've done, I still haven't found a thing. That was the first time I met Yoko Fukunaga. Hmm. Seems like something is going on. We exchanged contact information, and we talked on the phone a few times since. We've even met in person once or twice. But she never brought up the Seven Mysteries of Honjo again. I figured she'd gotten bored of it. Until today, when all of a sudden she decided to resume her search. Huh? Wait a second. Where did Yoko go? According to Yoko, the Whispering Canal, one of the seven mysteries of Honjo, is around here somewhere. 
It's apparently the story that the expression left at the canal originally comes from. I think I left myself a note about it. I should check my files. Oh my god, this is so much. Uh... Whispering Canal? Okay, the Whispering Canal. An enduring superstition. Formerly known as Kinshibori, many fishermen once gathered on the section of the canal that ran through Honjo. As their days came to a close and the fishermen gathered up their catches, a terrifying voice would rise up from the canal whispering, Leave it behind. Leave it behind. Those who ignored the voice found themselves unable to move and their previously full baskets of fish emptied. They would then be dragged into the canal, never to return. This strange phenomenon continued to occur and the people began to call this body of water the Whispering Canal. Didn't, in the beginning, I was found, like, drowned in the lake? Hmm. I think Yoko's trying to kill me. The check icon is very nice to indicate that I've already looked at it. But you know what else I haven't done? Um, told you guys to follow the channel. Because, guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, follow. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. If you're already following, turn notifications on. That way you don't miss a single stream. I'm going to try stream most every day this week. Until Halloween! Okay, let's talk to Yoko. There she is. She's back to digging up holes in the sandbox and searching around the playground. She seems to be enjoying herself, talking to the animal figures and petting them on their heads. No animal needs that much petting. Jeez, she's still at it. That's right. She asked me to come here to help her look for one of those seven mysteries. Actually, I think I did some research into the seven mysteries of Hondro. I can't remember all too well. I should check my files. The seven mysteries of Hondro. Hondro became known as a hot spot for strange happenings during the Edo period. A number of these stories have survived to this day and became known as the seven mysteries of Hondro. While many of these were likely the result of people blaming things they didn't understand on spirits or monsters. Dude, it's like the people you see on TikTok who don't understand how mirrors work. <laughs> They're like, what is this magic? Dude, our education system is so broken. The stories continued to be told as urban legends. Despite what the name would imply, there are actually more than 10 of these strange tales. Their roots likely come from stories told by the city's common folk. The most famous of the stories is the Whispering Canal, which eventually became the basis for both an idiom and a well-known Rakugo story. The most famous of the seven mysteries are the Whispering Canal, the Fool's Possession, the Beckoning Light, the Haunting Clappers, the Evergreen Beach, the Taiko of Sugaru, the Footwashing Mansion, the One-Sided Reed, and the Ever-Burning Lantern. I like all the lore. It's cool. My sister might like this game because she's a weeb. Oh, I can't look at the moon. I have to read them all? Okay. Okay, dude. I'll read them all. Lore time! Lore time, everybody! The Beckoning Light While walking along the road near Hoonji at night, one might spot a hazy lantern light up ahead, despite there being no one around. Following it will cause it to go out suddenly when getting near, but just when one fears the darkness might swallow them up, another light will appear further ahead, as if guiding the one who sees it. Some say the flame is benevolent, leading people to their homes, while others believe it is a monster leading people astray. Some even believe it's the vengeful spirit of someone that died, luring the lost to the land of the dead. The Haunting Clappers 
As the evening bell rings in Irechel, near present-day Shimoko Bridge, a night watchman patrols the dark streets and announces his presence by shouting warnings about fires, all the while striking his wooden clappers. But tonight the sound of another set of clappers answers back. He curiously claps the clappers together again. Clack. Clack. The echo answers again. But no matter how hard he searches for the sound, for the source of that second pair of clappers, he never finds it. Some say it was the work of a mischievous tanuki or a kitsune, while others say it was a warning from the spirit of someone who lost their life in a terrible fire. The Evergreen Beach Once upon a time in North Okura Okurabashi, a beautiful beech tree stood in the garden of Lord Shinden's residence, now known as the former Yasuda Gardens. It was so impressive that the house became known among the people as the beach residence. Somehow, no one had ever seen a single leaf fall from the tree, as rumors spread of the etern eternally. Of the eternally? It's a weird adjective. Uh <laughs> I didn't think I would have to do this much reading today. <laughs> okay. This seems like it'd be a good audio-only stream. As rumors spread of the eternally- of the- of the eternally- oh, eternally green tree. I read it wrong. Okay. Editor, trim this out. As rumors spread of the eternally green tree, it became known as the evergreen beach. However, this particular species of trees was actually an evergreen, so the lack of fallen leaves was nothing out of the ordinary. This has led people to say that the strangest part of this legend is the fact that it even became a legend at all. Yeah, in Washington, we, like, only have evergreen trees. We only have a good handful of trees that lose their leaves and fall. The Taiko of Sugaru There once was a daimyo from the Hirosaki domain in Sugaru which built a residence in Mororicho on a large piece of land. On this estate was an almost 8 meter tall tower that served as a lookout for fires. Only a designated firefighter was allowed to use the large drum that resided atop the tower in the event of a fire. While most towers used wooden blocks to sound the fire alarm, for some reason this residence was permitted to use drums. The residence and its special privileges led to much speculation and gossip among the townsfolk. Hmm, seems like there was big drama. I can hope you have a good day too. Look at Kim begging for attention. <laughs> I'll see you later. I'll watch the VOD. This seems like a really good game. Okay. The Foot Washing Mansion. This is the story of something that occurred in the dead of night in a residence in Makusako, modern-day South Warigesui Street in Kamizawa. A foul-smelling wind rattled the house. Suddenly, a giant foot, drenched in blood, smashed through the ceiling. Wash, it commanded. After the servants carefully washed the foot, it returned from whence it came, fixing the roof that had broken. A man who had been visited by the foot every night asked a friend to trade houses with him. That night, the foot stopped appearing. The One-Sided Reed There was once an infamous rogue by the name of Tomazo, who fell for a woman named Okuma. Tomazo persistently chased after Okuma, attempting to win her heart over and over again, but she rejected his advances every time. Enraged by his, her enraged by her indifference to him, Tomozo brought a dagger to a canal near Ryogoku, Ryogoku Bridge and attacked Okama. He cut the arm and leg off of one side of her body, then threw them into the canal. Ever since then, the reeds growing along that canal have only sprouted leaves on one side. Um, not all men, am I right? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> The Ever-Burning Lantern On a bone-chilling winter's night, one may happen upon a silba cart along the canal known as the South Warigesu. 
But there is something strange about this cart. No matter when one might visit, its owner is nowhere to be found. Yet the lantern that hangs from it stays perpetually lit, burning brightly even with no oil to fuel it. Should one attempt to put out the flame, it immediately roars back to life. However, there is also the tale of the never-burning lantern, another telling of the story in which the Subakar's lantern always remains dark, refusing to be lit. Am I missing one mystery? Break off! One, I'm just going to I'm going to click through all of them. I don't care. Okay, I, I did it right then. I just had to click through everything. Oh wait, she's coming back this way. Hey, what was that just now? Huh? Didn't you hear that? Um, it's all in your head. Smile. You're hearing things. No, I didn't hear anything. You sure you didn't just imagine it? Hmm. Maybe I did. But your special talent. You should have been able to hear it. Pay closer attention for me, okay? My special talent? What are you talking about? Huh? I, I mean your spirit sense. You look like you can handle your liquor. Huh? I have no idea what drinking has to do with it. But I don't think so. Hmm. Well, you must. I mean... You can see me, right? Huh? She's a ghost! Shogo Iki, 1 a.m. In Kinshibori Park. I don't know how she's so comfortable talking about spirits and the paranormal at this time of night. Either she's got guts or she's just used to it. Unless... No, it, it can't be. She's a ghost! It's gotten late. Really late, actually. It's already past 1am. There's a chill in the air. But I guess that's normal for this time of year. Or so I keep telling myself. These telephone booths are all over town. The lights are always on so they can be used in an emergency. Hmm. Is the telephone booth the everlasting lantern? Hmm. That's an interesting looking playground. I bet it's crawling with kids during the daytime, but it's kind of peaceful here at night. I've gotten most of my memory back, but I still feel a bit out of it. Wait. Wait. You're, you're kidding, right? Uh, about what? I mean, just now. It kind of sounded like you were saying that only people with spirit sense can see you. Of course that was a joke, duh! You don't really think I'm some kind of evil spirit, do you? Surely. But, yeah. I meant what I said about your spirit sense being s There's someone in the background. There's- there's someone else here! We look to the guy's right shoulder as the camera moves around. I swear. I'm not lying. Oh! 
Oh, the camera stopped panning. Oh, no. I meant what I said about your spirit sense being strong. I bet you could down a whole gimlet in one gulp. Seriously. That's the real reason I asked you to help me with this seven mysteries of Honjo business. Okay, just let me clarify something. Are you saying you can actually see paranormal stuff? Sure, I could handle a solid mask on meal. Why are you measuring this? Why are you measuring this in terms of cocktails? Not a believer, huh? Well, that's no matter. But you have to have seen some weird stuff over the years, right? Weird stuff? Yeah, like the things you could see but could never understand. You can't be serious. Okay, there's some bozo behind me. No, that... that... Okay, that black stain on the building does look a bit like a person. But, there, dead ass, there was a person behind me. I, I'm just waiting for someone to come out. I, I don't like this. Or maybe it was this? Because I was going to say earlier, like, this little electric box looks like a person. It looks like a little Minecraft man. Oh, I don't want to. Let's talk again. I've seen ghost photos in magazines before, but are you telling me they really exist? You bet they do. But you can only recognize them if you really believe in them, so be careful. So, even with my skill, I won't be able to see them if I doubt that they exist? That's right. The spirit world is all about the mind and the soul. You won't be able to see a thing unless you are properly in tune. But sometimes people get caught up in the moment, thinking they might see something and then they really do because they believe they would. Is that how that works? Yep, just like drinking. You'll never know how much booze you can handle unless you're ready to down some shots. I'm still not sure I get the drinking thing. <laughs> you know, I really saw how strange it was as the words left my mouth. Sheesh. Sheesh! <laughs> get, I, I, I swear I saw another person in that cutscene. I swear. Totally unrelated, but do you actually drink? Real alcohol, I mean. Whoa, talk about whiplash. I didn't expect you to start making small talk. Well, our conversation was getting a bit dark. I figured a change of topic might lighten things up. Oh, I see. If you really want to know, I like to think I can handle a few drinks. But to tell you the truth, I've never actually had a Moscow mule. Really, now? <laughs> I just thought it would sound cool. I would like to try it, though. Why don't we go for a drink sometime, then? Oh, are you asking me out? No, you're just being a good Samaritan, right? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'd be up for that. But I'd like to find one of the seven mysteries. All right, then, let's get to work. I just remembered. I actually did some research on the Seven Mysteries of Honjo at the library. You did? What did you find? Well, I discovered a few interesting things. Oh! Tell me everything! Although they're called the Seven Mysteries, the literature lists nine of them. Oh! I'm surprised you picked up on that. Nice researching. Some people think there could be, there could be up to fifteen. That's the thing about these old folk tales. Stuff gets added to them over the years. That's more extra stories than main ones. Yeah, but the Seven Mysteries rolls off the tongue way better than 9 or 15. If you say so. But it makes sense, don't you think? It's more likely to pass on if it's easy to remember. Huh. That's a good point. I think also 7... It's either 7 or 4 is an unlucky number in Japan. I'm gonna look it up real quick. It's one of the two. I think it's four. It's four soon. 
Is four or seven a bad luck number in Japan? Oh yeah, so... Wait. Wait, seven is considered lucky. And then in Japan, along with other Asian countries, four is an unlucky number. Because the pronunciation is the same or similar word for death. Oh, okay, so it's not seven, it's four. Seven mysteries of Hancho caught your attention. Are these real ghost stories? So, I read some of the stories, and none of them were, well, scary. I thought they were supposed to be ghost stories. That's true. They're more like a collection of superstitions, really. But there are some pretty disturbing ones in the mix. Yeah, like the one that was supposed to take place here. The Whispering Canal. People who fished in this canal would hear a voice call out saying, leave it. They had to abandon their catch or the canal would take it. Right. Right. Is that what you're expecting to find here in this park? Um, not quite. We're talking about a folktale from hundreds of years ago. After centuries of the telephone game, who knows if it's anything like the original story? So, basically, you think the true story of the Whispering Canal might be completely different from what we know? Exactly. I'm sure it is. I mean, weren't you curious? Oh, about what? People from around here have that expression, left at the canal, right? Meaning to abandon someone. This story is where it comes from. Except the story being told today is about fish. There's nothing in it about leaving people behind. Now that you mention it, that's true. So you're saying the original story maybe did involve someone being abandoned? That's what I'm trying to find out. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so I guess we have to read our clues, cycle through the dialogue to progress. Seems like there's gonna be a lot of reading. Oh, I, that was the same dialogue. Oh, by the way, were we talking about the Rite of Resurrection? Oh, your memory is as strong as your tolerance. I'm going to start calling you Martini Man Shogo. I'm really climbing up the drinks menu, huh? So you know about it, huh? The Rite of Resurrection? A magazine ran a feature on it recently that got practically everyone talking about it. Really? Maybe that's why I heard about it. Still, I don't know. It seems a little too far-fetched to be true. So, the Rite of Resurrection. It's the forbidden art of bringing the dead back to life, concocted by a famous onmyogi, onmyoji. Concocted from a famous onmyoji from an ancient age. Rumor has it, an old manuscript containing actual concrete details about the rite was recently discovered. This rumor comes from a presentation given by local historian Hidako Araishi at an academic conference. You sure know a lot about this stuff. And that's because I'm secretly a huge occult buff. I kind of got that. Well. But if a researcher spoke about it at an academic conference, it must have some basis in fact. Exactly. That's why I believe the right of resurrection is real. Now I'm starting to believe it too. Good. The pursuit of the unknown starts with belief. I got that from Professor Araishi himself. Hmm. Wait, hang on. I got another question. Hmm? You mentioned the Rite of Resurrection. Are you looking for that too? Does it have something to do with the Seven Mysteries of Honjo? Oh, you're sharp. I could cut my finger on you. To tell the truth, it's actually the other way around. What do you mean? Hmm, well, I started off searching for the Rite of Resurrection. But along the way, I realized that I needed to investigate the seven mysteries of Honjo first. I see. So then... 
Why are you looking for the right? If you're looking into a way to bring someone back from the dead, does that mean you've got someone you want to bring back? Um, you know what? Forget it. It just came to mind, so I thought I'd ask. I didn't mean to pry. Sorry. No, it's fine. I figured I need to tell you at some point. It's... A Gopago. A Gopago? Yeah. I want to bring a go... A Gopago back to life. He died in an accident about a month ago. A Gopago died? Oh, right! A Gopago was my dog. I had him for eight years. Oh, okay, your dog. Gotcha. You spent a lot of- you spent a long time together. Losing him must have been really hard for you. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure if the red even works on dogs. But as soon as I found out about it, I knew I had to give it a try. I don't think I could forgive myself if I just let the opportunity pass by. Definitely. Now I understand why you feel so strongly about it. Thanks for telling me. I know this must be hard to talk about. Hmm. You know what? All that led to me meeting you. So at least something good came out of it. Though it doesn't mean I'll stop looking, obviously. Yoko? I'll do everything I can to help you. Yay! I'm so glad to hear that. Let's keep up the hard work then, yeah? Dude, she's going through all this trouble for her dog. Like, what if you have to merc somebody for the ritual? Like, are you really gonna do that for your dog? <clears throat> What's that got to do with the Seven Mysteries? So, about the connection between this rite and the Seven Mysteries, putting together everything we've talked about, my guess is that the original stories behind the Seven Mysteries, the true stories, are the key to finding the right of resurrection. And that's why you're here searching for one of them. Do I have that right? Wow, 10 out of 10. You're proving to be quite the cap the capable assistant. Wait, since when was I your assistant? Anyway, this is just hearsay, but... Some say that what led to the seven mysteries coming to be was the right of resurrection itself. Huh? Don't the stories come from the Edo period? I thought the right of resurrection. I thought the right of resurrection was supposed to be way older than that. Right. It seems that an omoi, omoi. <laughs> right. It seems that an omoyogi, onmyoji, onmyoji, onmyoji. Right. It seems that an omoyogi from the Edo period rediscovered that ancient art. That old manuscript I mentioned with all the details on how to use the right. Apparently it was written in the Edo period. Oh right, I never told you its name. The manuscript is called The Record of Fates. Whoa, what a name. And it speculates that the secret of the rite is hidden within the Seven Mysteries of Honjo. So now, the Seven Mysteries are a hot new trend. Among who? You know, this whole thing's starting to sound pretty questionable. Come on! Remember what I said about the pursuit of the unknown? It starts with a belief. Right. You know what else? We'll start now. An ad. Because guys, we're an hour in the stream. It is time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99. Just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag, hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if we have a Prime sub available. Guys, go subscribe. Back to it. This game, <laughs> it said, would take 12 hours to beat. I'll probably do like 4 or 5 hours today. Because I gotta make dinner. Because since we're not going to the meeting, we can't get takeout tonight. Sad. So I have to cook. Oh no! What the hell? It feels like the air just changed. Okay, there's someone behind me. She's gonna be like, there's someone behind you! Oh 
Oh, I'm shaking. Okay, there's nobody here. The button also says think. Oh, no! <laughs> took an hour to get good. Okay, okay. Yoko, are you okay? Uh, uh! Hey, what's wrong? Stay with me. No, th this can't be! No! No! Uh, why? <laughs> Yoko? Yoko! That, that stain on the building! Yoko's pointing over here, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Still, she looks really spooked. I doubt she's making this up. Damn it. Did I miss it? Okay, that black spot is different. That was not there earlier. I pushed. Oh, I don't get this. Oh no. What's going on? Did something happen? Yoko? The ground looks more black. Yoko? Huh? Huh? What the? What is... Something's... What is it? Why is this happening? Shogo Ikii, 1 a.m. Kinshibori Park. Yoko, answer me. Yoko? No, no way, it can't be. Why? I'm gonna add another trigger warning for flashing lights. Okay, trigger warning added. Ah. What the hell just happened? No, oh, damn it, I got bigger problems. Yoko, just hold on. Everything is gonna be okay. Oh god, she's not breathing. She's so cold. I don't feel a pulse. This can't be happening. Okay, okay, an ambulance, right? I, I've got to call an ambulance. I need a phone. Right, the, the phone. I gotta call an ambulance. I called it in. An ambulance shouldn't be long. But is it going to make a difference? Her body's gone stiff and her skin is cold. And I don't think she's breathing. She looks more like a mannequin than a person now. I don't think there's anything... I don't think there's any coming back from that. I don't get it. Just a few minutes ago we were chatting away without a care in the world. Yoko... How did this happen? How could someone so bright and bubbly just suddenly drop dead? Resurrect her. Huh? 
Oh, that's right. If that Rider Resurrection she was talking about really does exist, there might be a way to bring her back. If someone could just drop dead out of nowhere like this, then... Oh, wait. If no one can... Wait. <laughs> if someone can drop dead out of nowhere like... Like they were cursed, then why... Then why shouldn't there be a way to bring them back to life? Yoko believed in it, so if I believe in her, it seems completely possible. Maybe, just maybe, I can still save her. Even if I've got to deal with spirits, senses, and curses, and whatever, I've got to try. Wait for me, Yoko. I promise. I'll use the right rest I you <laughs> Wait for me, Yoko, I promise. I'll use the right of resurrection to bring you back. Right before she died, I felt a strange presence a few times. And it seemed like she saw something. Something that shook her to the bone. There's definitely something strange going on. And maybe it's still here. What could she have seen? She mentioned that the Rider Resurrection and Seven Mysteries were connected. So maybe, whatever it was she saw, had something to do with that Whispering Canal. Whoa. Damn it. That presence again. It must be around her somewhere, but where? The cold night air feels like it's pressing down on me. Just standing here makes me want to scream, but I've got bigger problems right now. I've called an ambulance already. It should be here soon. What if I look up? Nothing. Oh, KSS. So something new. Fallen object. Huh? There's something on the ground. Did Yoko drop this? I didn't notice it till now, but there's a small wooden sculpture by her side. It's three or four centimeters tall. It looks like it could be a keychain, or from how it rod, or from how rotted it is, it's way too old for that. Despite how tiny it is, I can feel an almost palpable malice radiating from it. What the hell is this thing? Curse stone acquired. The Whispering Canal. What the? Leave me. Help me. It hurts. Are these the Whispering Canal's memories? Ah, such deep sorrow. A resentful memory is flowing into my mind. Acquire the power of the cursed stone the whispering canal. You can use it to kill those who walk away from you. Press the use curse button to kill your target as they attempt to depart. Ah the murderous impulse seeps to my soul like thick black tar. Can you hear it, Curse Bear? You who so strong, <laughs> you who so strongly desires the right, kill them. Should you seek life's restoration, take your curse in hand. Reap lives by the score, and claim their soul drenched for your own. Collect enough to sate this vessel. And by their sacrifice claim the gift of resurrection. Or 
better yet. Slay your fellow curse bearers. For there's the equal of droves of lesser souls. Now go forth and kill. What the hell was that? It was like the curse's memories flowed directly into my mind. In an instant, I understood everything. When I picked up this curse stone, the Whispering Canal must have cursed me. I also heard a strange voice. It told me if I want the right, I have to kill a bunch of people with this curse stone and collect their souls. I guess it's good to know that the right really exists. But this thing's want but this thing wants me to kill people to get it? Screw that. Putting my own life on the line is one thing. Murdering other people is another thing entirely. And not just one person either, scores, it said. So this is the curse of the Whispering Canal, huh? A curse that traps the soul of anyone who tries to walk away from me. But if I use it and collect enough souls. Then I'll be able to bring Yoko back. And there was something about other curse bearers being worth more than soul dredges. Jeez. I'm really at a loss here. Time to kill. Dude, Yoko's a stranger. She got us into the into this mess. Legit, why should we save her? What if she is a demon? Huh? It feels like I'm being watched. Is someone there? Where are you? Wanna check behind me? That's new. Huh? The hell is that? It looks like a light flying in, flying, floating in midair. There is a person. Shadowy figure. Now that I look closer, is there someone there? Pro tip! If you sense someone is following you, be loud. Because they expect people to be quiet. Let let people hear you. I'm gonna call you out. Because I know you see me, and now I see you. Hey! Who's there? Oop! <laughs> Oh my, how unexpected. It was your curse that killed that poor woman, I take it. What? Cat got your tongue, Mr. Oki. Huh? Unfamiliar man. A tall, humorless looking man. He doesn't look familiar to me. But he's got a sick undercut. In the 1920s? He was hit. He's acting like he knows me, though. Have we met somewhere before? Can you go away? It's hard to believe she was so full of life just a few minutes ago. Hey, time to think! That man. Who is he? He looks like to be in his 30s or 40s. He's all dressed up in a suit and tie, but 
Somehow he looks really shady. What is he doing here? Was he watching us this whole time? Something tells me curses are nothing new to him. If he's one of the other curse bearers, then I need to be careful. He might be here to kill me or take my curse stone. But by the same token, killing him will net me with a lot of soul dredges. Wait, this thing is closer now! Whoa, it's coming closer. Is this another one of the Seven Mysteries? It looks like a Will-O-Wisp, maybe. Was there anything like that in the Seven Mysteries? Maybe? Oh, so the... The curse is updated as you find things. Ooh, the new lore, new lore. A resentful memory. Toki loved fishing with her father, Jinkichi, more than anything. With their worker baskets on their back, they would leave for the canal every morning and fish till the evening. The miso soup her mother Koma made using the carp they caught was to die for. Her parents loved her dearly. One day, however, her father disappeared. Toki's mother went to look for him and never came back either. Those who came to express their concern eventually stopped vis visiting her out of fear. Toki continued to walk, all alone. Mother, father, where did you go? Don't leave me behind. Unable to bear the loneliness, she left her home and dredged along the roads until night fell. Neither her mother nor father were anywhere to be found. Tears stung her eyes. Suddenly, the, fish, the sound of fish splashing the water cut through the silence. She found herself standing before the canal where they used to fish together. The taste of carp and the memory of her father's smile fast flashed across her mind. Without thinking, Toki walked into the moat. The sound of water splashing echoed throughout the night air. Passerby thought it was only a fish in the canal. The splashing faded, and the silence returned to the lonely night. So she drowned. Okay, number 21 is still unknown. I'm going to check the curses section. I'll read through all these. The Rite of Resurrection. As indicated by its name, this manuscript holds detailed instructions on how to perform the secret art of reviving the dead. This forbidden ritual is said to have been devised by a once famous Onmyogi, Onmyoji. Local researcher Hideki Araishi recently discovered the old manuscript and gave a presentation on it at an academic conference, sending ripples through the field of occult studies. Curse Echoes and Curse Bears Curse Echoes are the visual manifestations of curses. These manifestations are fundamentally related to the origin of the curse. They do not appear to take the same shape and may sometimes appear in a more abstract or disfigured form. They lack consciousness, unlike a spirit, and are thus the mere dredges of a soul. Curses are more tangible by what are known as soul dredges. Someone possessed by a curse that is a curse echo is called a curse bear. Okay, so I'm a curse bear. A curse echo in it is its a curse echo is in itself a curse, and a possessed curse bearer can inflict that curse upon others at will. A curse that comes with a curse echo is considered very powerful in it in in and of itself. Ordinarily, those with no spirit sense would not be able to perceive a curse echo. But anyone who becomes a curse bearer can see other curse echoes. Okay, so the echo is like the stone? No, the echo was the spirit who came up. Curse stones. Old Natsuki carvings imbued with curses derived from the seven mysteries of Honjo. Ordinarily, only those with spirit sense can wield such curses, but these curse stones allow ordinary people to use them just as lethally. Oh, so I could be a normie. Soul dredges. When someone dies, their life essence leaves the body and becomes a soul. If one is killed by means of certain curses, however, their life essence will turn into a residue known as soul dredges. The Rite of Resurrection essentially uses these soul dredges as a sacrificial offering to bring back the dead, but the amount of soul dredges required depends on when the person became resurrected passed away. The more time has passed since their passing, the more soul dredges are required. The Record of Fates 
an old manuscript from the Edo period written by the sorcerer who recovered the Rite of Resurrection. It is viewed as a priceless and authentic document due to its detailed account on how to perform the ritual. Okay, I forgot how to merc somebody in the game. I forgot. <laughs> Hello, sir. I hate how everybody's just like standing here. I don't like it. I'm gonna think. If he's one of the other curse bearers, then I need to be careful. He might be here to kill me and take my curse stone. But by the same token, killing him will net me a lot of soul dredges. How do I merc? Oh! <laughs> I pressed X. It's not the right button. Yeah, I think I have to merc. Okay, so R1 is zoom in, R2 is zoom out. Oh, use curses ZL ZL okay so L2 I'm gonna try it before he does it to me I'm gonna do it oh it's not working I can't kill oh I was supposed to talk to him okay <laughs> sorry you know I just like to come out spraying I still don't have a clue who you are how do you know me have we met Dear me, it is always humbling to find that one is not as well known as one believes. Perhaps my name will help you remember. I am Takumi Yumioka. Takumi Yumioka? Does that ring any bells? I think I've heard that name somewhere before. Maybe? So you don't even know my name. How disappointing. Disappointing, but fortuitous. Mysterious Stranger, Takumi Yumioka. Well then, Mr. Okii, allow me to make you a proposition. You have a cursed stone in, my, in your possession. I would like you to give it to me. How do you know? How do you know about that? Why, I saw the whole thing. That doesn't explain how you know what a curse stone is. Even I barely have a handle on it. You know about the seven mysteries of Honjo and their curses and all that, don't you? But of course, those cursed stones, they are terribly dangerous things, capable of killing without a trace so long as their conditions are met. I haven't thought about it that way, but yeah. Imagine what might happen if one fell into the wrong hands. They would be safer in mine, don't you agree? We don't know you, though. Although it seems I arrived too late to stop you from killing that poor woman. What? What are you... 
That wasn't me. I'm willing to overlook your ind indiscretion, but only if you give me your cursed stone. No way in hell. For all I know, the wrong hands are yours. Very well. I had hoped to settle this amicably, but you leave me no choice. This Takumi guy must have a cursed stone of his own. Yeah, he must. He's trying to get more powerful. Can you hold multiple? Oh, he must. At least, it'd be safer to assume so. It would explain how he knows so damn much. So he can kill me instantly as long as he fulfills his stone's conditions. Until I know what those conditions are, I can't make any sudden moves. I have to keep him talking, learn what I can say, learn what I can, and figure out a way to get my curse out first. How can I get him to leave me behind? Oh, yeah. they gotta walk away. Though, it would be a waste not to take this chance to find out about the other curse bearers. I need a topic that'll keep him talking. My best bet would be... The light. Yeah, the light. What's up with that weird ball of light? Is that your curse? Whatever you do mean. I'm afraid I see no such thing. Huh? But it's right... Huh? It's gone. It was right there. I see. It seems you've become the mark of another curse bearer. What do you want with my cursed stone, anyway? I intend to seal it away in a secure location so it may never use, be used again. I am certain that you, too, would rather be free of this burden. The power to kill without fear of consequences in itself a curse. There are many ne'er-do-wells in this world who cannot resist the urge to use it. All the more so if promised the chance to resurrect the dead. You'll seal it away? How? I'll put it in the care of a sorcerer who is well versed in supernatural matters. If I've gained your trust, I must ask you to hand me your curse stone. What if he's evil, though? How do you know it wasn't. How do I know it wasn't you who killed Yoko with your curse? Mr. Oki. If you are hoping to trick me into revealing whether I possess a curse stone, I assure you, you cannot. It is your curse that was responsible, Mr. Oki. No matter what you might tell yourself. That doesn't make sense. I only found this after Yoko died. Oh. Don't play dumb. I know you're the one who did this. Whether you choose to believe me is your pr prerogative, but you are mistaken. But you should know the multiple curses awakened at once at the stroke of midnight. There are many other curses in Honjo, and many other curse bearers. It is not premature of you to assume that I am the one responsible. Wait. So, you're saying that at midnight a bunch of people become curse bearers? There's no point in continuing this conversation. For all I know, he could be telling me anything. Before I give you my curse stone, I want you to I want to know who you are. I need to know if I can trust you. A reasonable enough concern. Very well. I'm an associate of the great sorcerer Suigen Gamyoto. Suigen Gamyoto? Indeed, you must have heard of him. I believe he was recently featured in a certain magazine. Your unfortunate companion there came seeking his counsel not a few days ago. It was from her that I learned your name. I thought she would have mentioned me to you, but it seems that you're presumptuous of me. And when did this happen? Why, just two or three days ago. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not buying that. He knows I don't know who he is, so he's just trying to feed me a story. I've only known Yoko for a month, but she never mentioned going to see some mystic. Although it is Yoko we're talking about here, so it's hard to say for sure. 
I hope that is enough to convince you that my hands are more than trustworthy. Why are you so convinced it was my curse that killed Yoko? Why? It is simply that. Hmm? Huh? I do believe I just saw your companion move. You what? He's trying to bait me! He's trying to bait me! I don't want to look away! He, he's... He's baiting me! What are you doing? She did not check on her? He's trying to beat me! I'm not going to turn around. I'm not turning around. I'm not doing it. But you know what I do got to do? Tell you guys to follow the channel. Because we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, follow. You get to hang out in chat. And you get cool emotes. What? Turn notifications on too, guys. Even if you're a long-term follower. He's trying to bait me. Oh, I'm not going to turn around. For each of the seven mysteries, there's a curse and a curse bearer, right? Do you know who any of the others are? And what would you do with that information? Your intentions are nothing untoward, I hope. It is in the hearts of the selfish and the insipid. Of those who would be the most tempted by the rite of resurrection that the curses take rot. And the curses' resentful memories impart a powerful urge to kill, as I am certain you are aware. You are a victim of circumstance, Mr. Oki, but your situation is exceedingly dangerous. You must relinquish your curse stone from your own benefit before it is too late. Too late? It is already too late. There's no going back. All I can do is keep pressing forward. And if you're going to stand in my way, then I'll have to stop you. Am I to take that as a threat, Mr. Oki? I would encourage you to ex exercise more discretion before you fall foul of a curse. I'm going to think. If I want to use my curse on him, to get him to walk away and leave me behind. Now, what would convince him to do that? Scenario one. He does what he came here to do. Scenario two. He suddenly needs to be somewhere else. He's probably here for my curse stone, so I don't think I'd get out of the scenario one alive. Scenario two means hoping something will happen by chance, and luck is rarely on my side. And so my only hope is scenario three. Something makes it impossible for him to stay. I don't have to keep him here forever. I just need to get him to walk away only once. I don't want to turn around! Yoko? Oh, she did baby! Wait, she doesn't look any different. No. Damn it all. Shogo Ikii. Deceased. My, my, Pison, you seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. This is mere conjecture on my part, but perhaps you ought to be more careful about turning your back on unscrumptious individuals. Fear not. You may make as many attempts as you please from before your unfortunate mishap. I knew it was going to happen. Very well. Just remember, whatever you do, do not turn around.
Takumi Yamioka, he said his name was. He hasn't taken his eyes off me for a second. Even now, he's still staring right at me. Who the hell is he? Maybe if I focus, I, rec I can recall something useful. Really? That's all I have to do? Takumi Yumioka. How the hell does he know me? It's not like I've been getting out much. I barely have a life outside of work. Wait. That's it. I work. That's how he knows me. I've never actually met him, so it totally split my mind. The weekend got me out of my ass. This guy thinks he can sell me anything. But I know if but I don't know if having figured that out helps me much right now. So Wigan got me out of my ass. I know who you are. You work at Hiko Soaps, just like me. You're the chairwoman's secretary. Well, that took you long enough. Your lack of company loyalty is frankly astounding. Allow me to reiterate my request then. Not as a stranger, but as your superior. Hey, we're not in the office. You don't get to push me around like that. Why is our chairwoman secretary even out looking for cursed stones anyway? I refrain from revealing myself precisely to avoid such questions. But I suppose needs must. Since the dawn of the show era, the land of Honjo has nurtured our company's growth, and vice versa. It is our duty to ensure that curses do not take root in this land we know as our home. I am not sure I buy that. <clears throat> like many things, it is not a matter that concerns the rank and file. The chairwoman has no desire to spread fear through our beloved company's birthplace. Now if that is all, I must insist that you hand me your curse stone. He works at Hiyako Soaps, just like me. He's the secretary to the chairwoman, Natsue Yamamori. No wonder I didn't recognize him. He's way above us lowly peons. I've only ever seen him in the company bulletins. But he knew who I was. Could he memorize the names and faces of everyone in the company? I'm gonna think. Don't have to keep him away forever. I just need to get him to walk away once. Wait. I've got it. I know how I can convince him to leave. Oh crap, I totally forgot. What is it? I did call an ambulance. Oh right, I forgot. I called an ambulance. It should be coming any minute now. An ambulance. Have you lost your mind? They will arrive to find you standing next to a corpse alone in the dead of night. No doubt they will hand you over to the police. We'll have some questions for you. Probably. But I'm sticking with Yoko. Unless you want to join me in the interrogation room, you better get out of here. You're telling the truth, I see. They are getting closer by the second. I can't afford to be Wayland th at this juncture. I fear I must take my leave. Sooner or later, I will return for your curse stone. I only hope you do not abuse it in the meantime. Oh, should I do it? Well then, I bid you good evening. Shogo Iki, you dare. I didn't. He's dead. He's really dead. So this is what a cursed stone can do.
Whoa. The Cursed Stone of the Whispering Canal has drained 1% soul dregs. Or gained 1% soul dregs. So he was weak. He didn't have a stone. I didn't, I swear I didn't press it. Shogo Ikii, 2 a.m. Kinshiko or er, area. I left the park immediately. I felt bad for leaving Yoko, but I couldn't stay there. The emergency medical services will probably take care of her body. Takumi's too. This will be all over the news tomorrow. But until then, at least I know she'll be in a safe place. All right. I have to find my next sacrifice quickly. I've got no time to waste. I need to find the other cursed bears and collect their souls. Killing Takumi barely got me any soul drags. I guess he mustn't he mustn't have been a cursed bear after all. It's not enough. The soul of a non-cursed bear amounts to little more than leftover breadcrumbs. I have to think of places where the other cursed bears of the Seven Mysteries would be. The curses were activated at around midnight. The others are bound to be active still. I should check to see if there are there if there are any other places with connections to the mysteries nearby. At the very least, another cursed bearer might be thinking the same as me, meaning I could run into them. Let's see. Which of the seven mysteries are closest? I'm in the Kinshiko area right now. The Haunting Clappers are on the other side of the Oyoko River, just over Shimoku Bridge. The Food Washing Mansion and the Everlasting Lantern are on South Wadagesui Street past the train tracks. And further along Oyoko River, I'll find the beckoning light of Hoonji Bridge. Those three places are the closest. I guess I should start there. I'll collect the other cursed bearer's souls before dawn and bring Yoko back to life. I should go to another location connected to the Seven Mysteries of Honjo. I don't think you have to do these in any particular order, I hope. I promise I didn't press the curse button. I didn't. It just did it on its own. I mean, I guess how curses would work. Like, you have no control. <clears throat> Let's go to Shomoku Bridge area. The Shimoku Bridge is supposedly where the bell from the haunting clapper store used to be. I wandered around here for a while, but I didn't see anything interesting. The only thing I found was what looks like a hundred yen lighter someone threw away. I don't know if curses are vulnerable to fire, but maybe I'll find use for it. Of course I didn't just find a lighter, there were a ton of cigarette butts strewn across the ground too. Seems like the place is in well need of some wooden clappers to warn about fire. Okay, I can't click on anything in the environment. South Wadigesui Street. Both the Foot Washing Mansion and the Everbursting Lantern are from this area. This late at night, even a road as big as this one is silent as the grave. Is it just me or is it oddly dark around here? Could this be? I 
know it's past midnight, but it still seems oddly dark around here. And this feeling, it's the same as before. There. There's something over there. Is that a curse echo? A curse of the seven mysteries given form? I know it. There's a curse bear around here. Is that curse echo what's causing this darkness? It doesn't seem hostile. Is it trying to tell me to come closer? What should I do? Um, observe! Do not touch it! No. Approaching it would be stupid. I should keep my distance. For now, at least. I'm gonna take out my lighter. Haha. <laughs> take this, spirit. Okay, that. Oh! Okay, the only thing I could do is go closer. Things gonna happen if I just sit and wait. Let's check it out. Oh! Darn it! Now what? This isn't a curse doing this. Somebody's pulling me in. Ah, uh, that hurt. It looks like I'm inside a building. Did it just toss me in here? I can't see squat. Is this the same darkness from the curse echo? Oh no! I hate the dark, no! I'm completely enclosed. Doesn't seem like there's even a window. There's no telling which direction I'm facing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use my lighter. That's right. I still have the lighter I picked up earlier. Perfect. It works. Now I can make out my surroundings a bit better. What the? Something. Drat. He's got a light. That ruins everything. Is someone there? Are you a curse bearer? It's over. Time to get out of here. Wait, he's running. Was he right here this whole time? This is my chance. I didn't press anything! It's just automatically doing it! Uh, what the? Uh, why? That was a close one. I didn't catch a glimpse of the curse bear, but it seems like I'm alright. Plus 29! The cursed stone of the Whispering Canal has gained 30% soul dregs. His curse must have had something to do with light and darkness. My guess would be the ever burning lantern? So there's a connection between the seven mysteries and the way their curses work. That might be useful to know. Yeah, I think my curse, or my story, was the only one that, like, had somebody die. Like I said, I didn't press the use curse button, it just did it. It's the stone, not me. I would never kill! My fingers are not crossed. <laughs> I am not lying. <laughs> I would never lie. If the ever-burning lantern is the curse responsible for this, I'd guess maybe its condition is something about me being in total darkness? It's a good thing I had this lighter. It seems to have saved me. Wait, so if I didn't go to the bridge first, I would not have had the lighter. Uh-oh. Do I still have my lighter? I do.
Yeah, if I didn't go to the bridge first, I would have died. Hmm. I'm gonna go back to the bridge. Shumoko Bridge Area. Doesn't seem like I'll make any more progress investigating the haunting clappers. Okay, nothing else here. Hmm. Ho'on- Ho'onji Bridge. I'm here to Ombi. I'm here at Ho'onji Bridge, the location linked with the beckoning light. I don't want to talk to the man just yet. Also, he has a nice dapper hat. He's so dripped out. Hardly anyone's around. Not surprising seeing as it's past two in the morning. It feels like the whole world's gone to sleep. The other side is an industrial district, and further down the bridge is the temple from which it gets its name. Ho'onji Bridge has a pretty unusual structure. The ends are stone, but the middle is steel. The Yoko River beneath it is actually a canal that was dug during the Edo period. Okay, let's talk to the man. Someone's standing on the bridge, silhouetting themselves against the sky. Wait, wait, wait. Fine, I'll go first. Whoa. Hmm, I see. I see. Interesting. Well, now this is a surprise. Huh? Who are you? If you've got the wrong guy, just say so. He's the flamboyant fellow. I wouldn't bat an eyelid if this were the inner city, but he stands out like a sore thumb in these parts. Come now! It won't hurt to at least tell me your name. I'm gonna say my name so he, like, trusts me a little bit so this guy doesn't murk me right away. Because if we ask a question, then we're, like, deflecting, or he's gonna get mad. Fine. Fine, my name is Sho. Careful now, young man. It's not wise to go about giving your name to strangers. Gone is the age when might made right. Nowadays, it's information that rules the world. You'd do well to remember that. You're the one who asked. Your name, your address, your phone number, your age, your occupation. Your personal information is much more valuable than you might think. You should treat those things with care. So, I guess you don't plan on telling me anything either then. You can call me Roger Kai. Private detective. But didn't you just say not to... Uh, never mind. You say you're a detective? That's correct. I'm a man who deals in secrets. Don't expect me to share any more information with you, though. I only told you that so I only told you so that we could have an understanding. Private Detective Richard Cott. What's a detective doing around here? Working? And that's all I'll say about that. I could ask you the same thing, though. This seems like a strange place to stop. What brought you here? Hmm. I saw a strange man. I'm looking for someone. Why should I tell you? Uh, if I say I'm looking for someone, then I would have to leak... Why should I tell you? I don't want to be defensive. I saw a strange man. I think it's the best neutral. I saw a strange man lurking around. I see. Then let me ask a different question. 
Why did you go out of your way to strike up conversation with that strange man? I'm... I'm looking for someone. I figured it was worth seeing if you knew anything. You don't say. In that case, I might just be able to help you. Can you describe the person you're looking for? <laughs> Let's just be straightforward. I know I said a person, but I'm actually looking for something called the Beckoning Light. The Beckoning Light? <laughs> the Seven Mysteries of Honjo. That's right. A friend of mine was really into that kind of stuff. She said the Beckoning Light appears here in the middle of the night. I just wanted to see it for myself. <laughs> really? You're the adventurous type, aren't you? Unfortunately, I think you're out of luck. I've been here for a while, but I haven't seen any strange lights. All right. Well, thanks for telling me. But j wait just one second. There's still time left for it to appear. Why don't we wait together? Thanks, but I think I'm good. Really? Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be of any more help. Ah, oh, that's right. I meant to ask. Do you have a light on you? A light? You mean for cigarettes? Well, I've got this cheap one I picked up, but that's it. Oh no, it doesn't do nicely. Are you sure? I don't want to give it to him. Anyways, I should get back to work. Once you're gone, of course. Is there a reason I can't be here? Of course. My work is top secret. I'm gonna think. It doesn't seem like he has anything to do with the curse bearers. I should move on. If he's been for here for as long as he says, there's a good chance he's seen something. But I don't think it's worth asking. He seems like all kinds of trouble. around the area, I should head somewhere else now. Or to next. I, I think if I gave him lighter, I, I think that guy's bad. I think he's bad. So if I were to give him the lighter, I think he would have murked me. And I want to keep it. First around Midorichio Mirore Park, at the end of the south of Warigesui Street, is the Taiko of Sugaru. North of there is a school called Komogata High School, at the location of the fool's possession. It should be around here. I'm gonna go to the school first. But you know what I actually have to do first? Run an ad, because guys, we are two hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing on the or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. <clears throat> this game has a lot of talking. My throat does hurt a little bit. I don't want to give any of my items away. You know, I need all the tools in my arsenal. <clears throat> Let's go to the high school first. Got to high school, front gates. 
Here I am at Komogato High School. Oh, I can't go back to the bridge. That's a bummer. <laughs> the school is supposed to be on the former site of the Daimyo's residence, where he encountered the fool's possession. It's now at the center of a quiet residential area. There's not a person inside. The school gate is closed, but climbing over looks easy enough. Past the gate, I can see the main school building. Huh. It's too dark and far away to see clearly, but... I think I can almost make out someone inside. Where? I think he's saying things. It's quite suspicious for someone to be here this late at night. Since you... But waiting here would be a waste of time. I should come back later. The large gymnasium looms silently over the grounds. It doesn't look like anyone is in there. Hmm. He's I too. Hmm. Okay, I think all the dialogue is the same. Okay, I gotta come back later. On to Mirorecho Park. This is Mirorecho Park, location of the Taiko Sugaru, one of the seven mysteries. Huh? Someone's there. Two men, one middle-aged and the other a young adult, talking to each other. There's a good chance that one of them could be a curse bearer. I'll try to scope things out without being spotted. To pick up on their conversation from this distance, I'll have to focus in and watch them for a while, I think. Looks like if I'll be spotted, I'll quickly hide behind a tree to move out of the line of sight. Huh. They were supposed to be around here, but I don't see anyone, boss. No need to get ahead of ourselves. I bet we see something before the night is done. No good. I can't see what they're doing if I stay hidden like this. Maybe you're right, but still, the seven mysteries. Huh? Was that a noise from behind us just now? No? <laughs> huh. Never mind, just my imagination. But, does the curse really let you kill someone with an object like that? Hmm, something's bugging me. I'm gonna have to check back there. Oh, huh, nothing. I guess this place is just keeping me a match. That one got me so good. Young man. Ah, sorry, sir. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions? Ah, oh, they found me. Oh, you two are police officers. Ha! Huh. People often say we don't look like it. Sorry if we startled you. 
I'm sure there is no problem, but we'll have to ask you some questions as procedure. Oh, I'm Hyun Erio. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Investigative Division. Newbie Detective, Jun Erio. And this old guy with a scowling mug is Chief Inspector Tetsuya, Tetsuo uh, Sutsumi, Sutsumi. My superior officer. You wouldn't guess it from that frown, but he actually has quite the sweet tooth. Erio, quit blabbering. Veteran Detective, Tetsuo, Tetsuo Tsutsumi, Tsutsumi. Why are his lips like that? Holy. Now first, can you show me some ID with your name, address, and occupation? I'll be okay. I'm better off just going along with it. Wow, you work for Hihaku Soaps. I hear they've been ranking <laughs> I hear they've been raking it in lately, that true? I don't know much about that. I'm just a recent hire. <laughs> People are loving that new hair product you have. I use it all the time myself. Thank you for your patronage. Edio, do you use hair products? Get with the times, boss. Guys nowadays all use these things. Isn't that right, Mr. Oki? -E? Um, yeah, sure. We even make men's cosmetics now. That's so. What a time we live in. Sorry, boss is kind of a caveman who thinks using a bar of soap for all his washing makes him cool or something. I don't think that. I just don't care enough to use anything else. Actually, we do have all-in-one soaps for just that purpose. There are plenty of people like you. Huh. Hear that, Edio? That's what I'm talking about. You should put out more of those. Aren't you riled up? I'll leave the questions up to him. I got nothing to ask. <clears throat> anyway, Mr. Oki, what is it that you're doing here? Um, actually... I'm searching for the seven mysteries. Oh, he stopped smiling. Have you heard of the seven mysteries of Honjo, Detective? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard of them. We were just talking about them a minute ago. A girl I know was- oh, wrong voice. A girl I know was into them. That's how I got interested. I see. I seem to remember even Mirorecho Park had, some of the, had one of the mysteries associated with it. What was it again? I forgot, I forgot! Okay, Kinchi Bori is the original park we were in. Green Beach. Oh wait, it, it tells the location. Okay, so the gardens is where the tree is. Near present day bridge. Well, Onji, which was the bridge. High school. Miro Richo. Modern day South Warigesui Street. Burigoku Bridge. South Warigesui. Wait, it's not here! Oh, I'm gonna go look. I'm looking at the dialogue. I'm cheating. Okay. 
It doesn't tell me. I'll say fool's position. Huh. Are you sure about that? No. It's the Taiko of Tsugaru. This whole area used to be the residence of the Tsugaru, the clan of samurai. Are you sure you're really interested in the Seven Mysteries? Um, sorry, there's so much to remember. I got a little mixed up. Come on now, boss. It's not like this is an interrogation. So, that's why you're hanging around in the middle of the night. Discover anything interesting? No, nothing. Though I admit I haven't been looking into these things too hard. Right. I think I understand your situation. Thank you for your answers. Now it's quite late. You'd best be heading home. Wow, peace and is a cheater. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just using my resources. Something wrong. You're free to go. I'll stay. Um, excuse me. Since you detectives are around, does that mean something happened around here? <laughs> well, we are investigators, so it is indeed related to a case. But don't worry, there's no threat to civilians whatsoever. We'll be here a while longer looking into things, but you can rest easy. A while longer, huh? That's not good. This may be my only chance. I see. Well, I'll be going now. Take care. I always imagine detectives as blunt and aggressive, but I guess there are some pleasant ones, too. He's as intimidated as I expect a veteran cop to be. First that private detective, now police detectives? Why today of all days? Hmm? We're done here. Go on home. I don't wanna go home though. Well, I'm fairly sure one of them is a curse bearer. Getting them to leave will be hard. Maybe I should go somewhere else before they get any more suspicious of me. I'm back to the school. Come I got to high school. Front gates. Here I am at Come I got to high school. Let's see here. Huh? Whoa. What? Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but did you just climb over the school gate? What's going on? Why are you at school this late? Um, well... I'm really sorry. I'm in a big hurry right now, so I gotta go. Hey, wait. I didn't press anything. Next time this happens, I'll have my controller like this so you guys can see. I'm not a murderer. Huh? A curse? No. Why? It can't be. I'm... Mio. I'm sorry. The Cursed Stone of the Whispering Canal has gained 36% soul dregs. Plus 6, big L. Not worth it. Huh. I killed her. Nice, she was a curse bearer. This is working. I just have to keep it up. How many more do I need? One, two...
Shogo Iki, 3 a.m. All right, on to the next one. First, the one-sided read by Ryogoku Bridge. Then the evergreen beach at the former Yasuda Gardens along the Sumida River. Finally, Sumida River. It would make sense to go here first because it's closer. I'm gonna go to the bridge first. Ryogoku Bridge. Hey, quick question for you. What the? Sorry if this is sudden, but I gotta ask. You don't mind, do you? Are you a curse bearer? What? Huh. The large bridge here is called the Ryogoku Bridge. Crossing the river leads to Nihonbashi Bakurocho in Chuo City. Curse Echo. Is this his curse echo? I can't talk to him. Making it obvious that he's a curse bearer himself. What's he trying to pull? Maybe he's confident that he can activate his curse before I can activate mine? Gotta be careful. How should I respond here? Okay. If I reveal that I'm a curse bearer, right? Then he will kill me. And then I have to be extra careful. But if I, if I lie, then he probably won't kill me because, like, normies don't have a lot of um, curse points. I forgot what they're called. What's that? The hell is that? Oh, no! <laughs> you took too long to answer. Huh? Plus, you glanced behind me when the curse echo appeared. I knew it. You're a curse bearer, too. You can stop trying to hide it now. Now that you- Now that you were doing a very good job. Damn it. Yeah, you're right. I appreciate the honesty. I just want to have a nice, calm chat. The name's Yotaro Namigaki. My curse echo is the foot-washing mansion. Young curse bearer, Yotaro Namigaki. A chat? I'm not going to curse first and ask questions later just because we're both curse bearers. I've got a little more class than that. I hope you're smart enough to extend me the same courtesy. <laughs> um... Alright. Fine. Chat away. Thank you. Get to know I'm dealing with someone reasonable. All right, let's talk. What do you want? Right, I'll cut straight to the chase. Will you join forces with me? Join forces? To gather soul drags? Yep. You're using your curse because there's someone you want to resurrect too, right? In that case, it'd be more effective for the two of us to work together than to you, for you to do it all yourself. Think about it. We could split the work and we'd have two kinds of curses at our disposal. Working together. I hadn't thought about that before. Can the soul drags in one curse don't be moved to another? That's a fundamental requirement for this to work. Well, we have to test it. And I can't do that alone, either. I see. I'll try! Alright, then. 
If working together helps us both get what we want, maybe it's not a bad idea. Thanks. Glad to be dealing with someone who can think through things rationally. But there's something I need to know in advance. Tell me. How many soul drags do you have right now? Right, I have some, of course. I am more than competent, after all. I'm asking you how many. I'm at 1%, but don't worry about it. My curse is so easy to activate, I'll have plenty in no time. I bet you haven't managed to get any on your own, have you? I'm at 67%. No, wait, I'm lying. I had 36. I'm lying. Huh? Say what? That's the amount of soul drugs I have in my curse stone right now. What? Wait, are you serious? You're not even close to being on my level. I'll keep gathering soul dregs on my own. Let's forget all this joining forces business. You've got to be kidding me. Huh. I call your bluff. Don't think you can scare me off so easily. I see. That's too bad. If you don't feel like talking, then you leave me no choice. I he gave you a chance to come out of this alive. Real shame you're just going to waste it. What are you... What the... Is this the voice of the curse echo? Among the seven mysteries, the resentful memory of the foot-washing mansion is particularly strong. You can't block it by plugging your ears. As soon as you hear the voice of my curse echo, it's the end for you. Damn it. Okay, don't team up and be nice. My, my, Pison. You seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. This is a mere conjuncture on my part, but... You have a way to evade curses that no one else is capable of, do you not? Fear not. You may make as many attempts as you please from the conversation with Yuturu. Very well. Remember to ward off the curse before it is activated. But bear in mind... Shogo Iki has no way of realizing it itself, so you must react for him. Okay, I can't leave. I don't think I can make it- I don't think that's a good idea. If I don't make a clean escape, it might cost me my life. Besides, I might still be able to take soul drugs from him. A young man, probably younger than me. Maybe a college student? This guy is quite the bold character. He's got confidence, I'll give him that. All oh, right, let's talk, what do you want? Right, I'll cut straight to the chase. Will you join forces with me? Join forces? Together soul dregs? Yep. You're using your curse because there's someone you want to resurrect too, right? In that case, it would be more effective for the two of us to work together than to do it all yourself. Think about it. We could split the work, and we'd have two kinds of curses at our disposal. Working together? I hadn't thought about that before. Can the soul drags in one curse stone be moved to another? That's the fundamental requirement for this to work. Well, we'll have to test it. And I can't do that alone either. You see... Okay, if I said fine, then I lie, and then he gets mad, so... This is going nowhere. Sorry, but there's no way I can accept your offer until I know that. Oh, <laughs> you still mad! Who's to say you won't run away while we're in the middle of testing it? Well, you're just gonna have to trust me. Or do you think you can collect them all yourself? I'm at 67%. Huh? Say what? That's the amount of soul drugs I have in my curse stone right now. What? Are you serious? You're not even close to being on my level. I'll keep gathering soul drugs on my own. Let's forget about this joining forces business. You've got to be kidding me. Huh. I call your bluff. Don't think you can scare me off so easily. I see. That's too bad. 
If you don't feel like talking, then you leave me no choice. How do I get out? Yeah, I... Okay, that was dumb. You have a way to evade curses that no one else is capable of. Do you not? I don't. What? Remember to ward off the curse before it's activated. Okay. But bear in mind Shogo Ikii has no way of realizing it himself, so you must react for him. What if it's meta? What if I do this? I mute the music and I mute the volume. You have a way to evade curses that no one else is capable of, do you not? Fear not. You may make as many attempts as you please. Remember to ward off the curse before it is activated. But keep in mind, Shogo Ikii has no way of realizing it himself, so you must react for him. Okay, I'm gonna try this meta. Okay, I'm skipping the dialogue. This is going nowhere. I still lie. What? Wait. I muted the SFX and the music, and the curse sound is still playing. What? That's weird. I assumed it was going to be muted. How does it still play? Okay, <laughs> he feels bad. However, as you've been here several times, allow me to expound on this further. If I'm not mistaken, you've already learned how to avoid hearing the voice of the curse echo somewhere. Fear not. You... I... Fear not. You may make as many attempts as you please from the conversation with Yutaro. I don't remember anything. I'll turn everything back on, don't worry. Okay, persons of interest. Oh, Yutoro. The young man encountered at Ryogoku Bridge. He doesn't hide the fact that he was a curse bearer.
gonna look through all of the phenomena and curses one more time. I think the only thing I could try is like try and use my curse. Like just press ZL. I'm gonna read the curse here. lighter that, that's the only thing i've done that i've quote unquote learned oh i can turn more around oh i don't like that the canal where the one-sided reed grew is supposed to be around here somewhere but now there's no trace of it left talk. You'd better answer quickly before, well, you know what. Let me take out this lighter. Okay, so this guy's curse is the raid one. I'm gonna read it over one more time. I didn't know which one it was earlier. The one-sided read. Okay, there's no clues here. I'm spamming- I'm, I'm gonna spam ZL the whole time. Not lie. If I don't lie, 
then it's not a problem. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Old man, give me a hint. You have a way to evade curses that no one else is capable of, do you not? You've already learned how to avoid hearing the voice of the curse echo somewhere. I didn't! If by chance you've forgotten, perhaps try reading how to play in your files. Okay, I was gonna check that section, but I forgot. How to play. Changing settings. A variety of settings can be changed from the options menu. For example, you can set voice volume to zero if you prefer not to hear voices. That was the one thing I didn't mute. So I was right about it being meta. I was genuinely right. I just didn't mute the right thing. Ah, oh, that's so good. Oh, and it literally said hearing the voice of the echo. That's so good. I knew it was something meta! Okay, let's go again! Okay, I'm gonna skip the dialogue. I lie. He gets mad. You've got to be kidding me. Huh. I call your bluff. Don't think you could scare me off so easily. I see. That's so... That's too bad. If you don't feel like talking, then you leave me no choice. I even gave you a chance to come out of this alive. Real shame you're just gonna waste it. What are you... Among the seven mysteries, the resentful memory of the foot-washing mansion is particularly strong. You can't block it out by plugging your ears. As soon as you hear the voice of my curse echo, it's the end for you. Damn it. Huh? A voice? I don't hear any voice. What? There's no way! And yet there he is, perfectly unharmed. How? Oh, what's going on here? I don't completely understand it myself, but his curses and conditions don't seem to have been met. This is my chance. Yutaro, your curse won't work on me. I'll let you off easy today, so get the hell out of here. You son of a... Huh, fine. I'll just be on my way then. I'm not pressing. But mark my words, I'll make you regret this. Ah. I didn't press anything! The game just wants me to kill! Ah! Why? Ah! How is this? Well, oh, the woman's gone. Oh, wait! Okay, for this little pop-up, I thought it meant, like, the po total percentage I had done. But it's the actual- oh, it says gain 20%. 
I'm so silly. I don't know English. <laughs> My curse thing is almost full because it was. There was 1%, 30, 36. Yeah, so 67. And then 20. So I now have 87%. The Cursed Stone of the Whispering Canal has gained 20% soul dregs. The woman's gone. I'm gonna turn the voices back on for ambiance. I can't believe, like, I had it! I just didn't mute the right thing. That's genuinely, like, so surprising to me. That I, like, I actually figured it out, kind of. Former Yasura Gardens. The former Yasura Gardens. There was some kind of incident here recently, so the entrance was closed off. But it was easy enough to sneak in since there are no guards at this time of night. However... I don't want to look behind me. So, have you decided what you're going to do? With your... Oh, so precious. Curse. Stone. Yeah. As soon as I snuck into the gardens, the woman inside cut off from behind me. I've been waiting for you. I have a curse stone. Her sudden proclamation had me at a loss for words. So the woman continued. I have you in a position wherein I can use my curse on you whenever I please. If you hand over your curse stone, I will at least spare your life. And then a moment. All I could squeeze out in reply was, let me think about it. Which brings us to now. All right. It feels weird being in these magnificent gardens after hours. There's not a visitor or groundskeeper in sight. The Rigoku poli- The Rigoku poli- <laughs> Why do I keep saying police? The Rigoku public hall is also on the grounds. Its eye-catching structure makes this place feel even more otherworldly. A woman in her 30s. She, was a, she has a refined air about her, like she was brought up in a family of a high social standing. But I also sense a shadow hanging over her. I wonder if it has to do with this place. Don't tell me you still haven't made up your mind. Such an indecisive man. Wait, um... I might hand over my curse stone, depending on certain things. Will you hear me out for a moment? Sure. Go on. If we're gonna talk, we should get to know each other better. My name is Shogo. Stop. Huh? Let's not do that, alright? If I know your name, I might start to feel sorry for you. And have a harder time killing you. You would? Don't you think? Seven. If you take my curse stone, what are you gonna do with it? With your curse stone? It's brimming with soul dredges, isn't it? It's already killed so many, no? How 
does she know so much? I'd like to avoid such crude methods myself. Six. Damn it. Did I expose myself somehow? She said she could use her curse on me anytime. I guess I've already fulfilled its conditions. It could be a bluff, but since she seems to have information on me, it's probably true. I can't hand over my curse stone. I need to figure out how her curse is activated and find a way out of here. For now, maybe I can get some information by talking about something that'd catch her interest. Like the gardens, they're so pretty. You want soul dredges. That means you're after the right of resurrection too. Not that I'm trying to compare our circumstances, but can I ask what led you to this? Oh my. Do you mean that if my situation is more dire than yours, you'd give your curse stone to me? Sure, I'd consider it, so tell me. Liar. Huh? You wouldn't hang your fate on something as superficial as that. Nor would I. Five. What condition have, have I fulfilled since the moment I stepped foot in here? Something that I'm still doing even now. Think, what could it be? Maybe something I have on me? If I suddenly strip naked on the spot, I just might be able to avoid her curse. No, that would take too long. She'd probably kill me before I even get my shirt off. Plus, I'd look like a creep. The other possibility is that the condition has to do with the location we're in. If being here is what activates the curse of the Evergreen Beach, then I'll continue to meet that condition as long as I'm here. In which case, there's no escape. She'd activate her curse before I ever got away from the gardens. I'm sure I'd recognize it after setting it off, but it's not like I'd... But it's not like I'd get to do things over. So, if I can't figure out her curse, I'll have to set off my own. I don't see how I can make her leave, though. Not while she has the upper hand. All I can think of is to make her use her curse. Damn it. But there's no way I can counteract after she curses me. What if I do this? I'm gonna turn around. Maybe it's like if I look at her. Okay, that's not it. I'm gonna keep trying to get her to know me so I risk her up and then she doesn't kill me. Well, what if you just tell me your name? Why? Well, I need to call you something. Then call me ma'am. Huh? Um, alright, ma'am. Yes, what is it? Oh, this is bad. She's completely running the show here. Four. I've had enough. Two curse bears shouldn't be carrying on like this. Three.
My son. What? He'd be in the sixth grade now. If he were still alive. Oh. When I'm one of the big kids, I'll help look after the first and second graders, he'd say. He always had a strong sense of judgment and responsibility. He wouldn't stand by when he saw other kids being bullied. He'd defend them, even if he was no match for the bully himself. He'd often come home in tears, but only because he was sad that he wasn't strong enough to save others. He wanted to be a policeman when he grew up. Okay, okay, I, I get it. I've heard enough. Oh, that's enough for you? Yeah. Hearing such a sad story just makes me all the more sorry that I haven't changed my mind. I see. <laughs> so even after what I told you, too. What's going on? Scary game! Also, if you're watching on Desktop Mac, if you click on the game category, um, at the top, it gives a summary of the game. She's mad hot. Jeez, calm down, Mac. You come in the chat. <laughs> calm down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have two more chances. I was just playing around. I know. I know. You gotta get your daily time out, you know? You still won't hand it over. Okay, last dialogue, hopefully. <clears throat> Can you take soul dredges from other curse bearer stones and add them to your own? Who knows? But you have to admit it's worth trying. So basically, you want soul dredges, but you steal the ones others have gathered because you don't want to get your own hands dirty. You're half right, but half wrong too. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I just want to end this with a little with a. Uh, I just want to end this with as little trouble as possible. Understand? Zero. Such a shame. What? This is the end for you. Oh no! Very well. No! Ah. Fire! Fire, it's so hot! It burns! Fire, of course! That's what it was! Ugh! That guy, damn it! He must have been following me! What? How is that related? But it's already... too late. No one Diando. My my Peason, you seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. It is not all in vain, however, as you finally realized how the curse is activated. Fear not, you may make as many attempts as you please from the conversation with the lady. Very well. Remember how to ward off the curse when you return. But bear in mind, Shogo Iki Oki has no way of realizing it himself, so he must react for him. Hello! Vibration off, text speed normal, brightness normal. Chromatic Aberration. Let's see what that is real quick. Chromatic Aberration. 
Chromatic aberration. Okay, chromatic aberration is the material effect produced by the refraction of different wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation through slightly different angles, resulting in a failure to focus. It causes colored fringes in the images produced by uncorrected lenses. So it's kind of like the blur or like lens flare effect, essentially. Hmm. Turn it off. Because he was like, fire. Oh, it's so hot, it burns. Ow. <laughs> How do we stop fire? Also, the guy was following me. Yeah, Richard Kai was the detective. Hmm. He was like back here, I think, in that cutscene. See him. Don't tell me you still haven't made up your mind. Such an indecisive man. Wait, um... I might hand over my curse stone depending on certain things. Will you hear me out for a moment? Sure, go on. Okay, I'm going to cycle through the Curse Stone dialogue all the way first. If you would take my Curse Stone, what are you going to do with it? With your Curse Stone? It's brimming with soul dredges, isn't it? It's already killed so many, no? How does she know so much? I'd like to avoid such crude methods myself. Seventh. Okay, we did this dialogue already. Six. Oh, there was one more cycle in the Cursed Stone dialogue. How do I know you haven't already set off my curse? Go on, then. Use it. If I had, you could have activated without all that bluster. And yet, here you are. Damn. Does she already know about it? Or about that student from before? But if she already knows what would activate it, she wouldn't hide it. Because if you know what activates my curse, there's no way you would set it off yourself. Though she must not know yet, I still have a chance. Listen. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. About what? Talking like this instead of killing you immediately? It's just a whim of mine. What I mean to say is that you are never in a position to bargain. Five. You know who else will not be bargaining with me? The non-subs, because we are three hours in the stream. Guys, if you want to avoid that ad, all you must do is subscribe. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing on the link. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. <clears throat> we'll keep playing. Get boomed. <clears throat> 5.99 
five. Oh, so there, there's a lot of dialogue in the curse stone section. Okay, so I, I chose the wrong dialogue when I was cycling through. I got it. You actually can't kill me, can you? And that strange countdown from before, too. It's all just a bluff to threaten me. I don't give in to threats, so why don't you just give this up and... If that's the case, give it a try then. Only five more now. Let me tell you the number. Four. This conversation is over. Three. Oh no! Okay, um. Think, think, think. Use my brain. Damn it. Did I expose myself somehow? She said she can use her curse on me anytime. I guess I've already fulfilled its conditions. It could be a bluff, but she's. But since she seems to have information on me, it's probably true. I can't ho hand over my curse stone. I need to figure out how her curse is activated and find a way out of here. For now, maybe I can get some information by her. Maybe I can get some information by talking about something that catch her interest. A woman in her 30s. She has a refined air about her. Like she was brought up in a family of a high social standing. But I also sense a shadow hanging over her. I wonder if it has to do with this place. A shadow? Okay, vibration, text, speed, brightness. Maybe I, if I just crank up the brightness, maybe I'll see him. Oh wait, how to play? Wait, I need to look. Um, exit. No. Apply changes. I gotta go to files. How to play. Yeah, increase the brightness. I'm looking for the detective. The investigator. White hat, white suit, gay as fuck. <laughs> Okay, I didn't see him. I guess I'll keep rising. Yeah, I'm skipping this dialogue. And she's like, oh, my son died. He wants to be a cop, a cab. <laughs> Who 
level one. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm dead. Such a shame. What? This is the end for you. Farewell. That guy, he must have been following me. What, what does it mean? I still don't get it. No entiendo. Remember how to ward off the curse when you return. But bear in mind Shogo Iki has no way of realizing himself, so you must react for him. I don't know. No entiendo. It's not text speed, I don't think. Maybe? I'm gonna turn vibration. I usually turn vibration off. Because I just don't like the sensation. I'll turn it on. Because maybe, like, I'll hear the guy's footsteps? That's my only other guess. Audio. It was the guy following me, so... Why are you messing with the settings? Um, one of the previous enemies, you had to literally go into your settings and mute the sound in order for the guy to not kill you. It's actually a pretty good mechanic. Go back and watch the VOD. <laughs> what if I douse myself with water? A good old water. Oh, the controller vibrates all the time. I hate this. Oh my god. What if I just give her the stone? I'm like, here, take it. I don't want it. I skip the dialogue? I forgot. A whole B. I'm gonna skip. Will I play this game again? Yeah, I will beat it. I don't know about today because the game is 12 hours long, but I will beat it on stream. 
Are you skipping? Okay, so they introduce yourself. I already did. two options left. Okay. Why can't I see, like, her curse echo? Because I should be able to see it. That means it's hiding. It has to be hiding. wanted a lighter. Probably because he likes fire, but why was he following me? I don't... No entiendo. Hi, dog. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Hope you're doing well. You still won't hand it over. Okay, this is the final dialogue slot. I'm going to inspect every single place in here. Also, like, I can't leave. Yeah, there's nothing hiding in the final... Before the final dialogue sequence. I also sense a shadow hanging over her. Maybe he's hiding in the trees. Okay, that makes her talk to her. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna go through the dialogue, finish it, and then I'll get my little hint from the narrator. Zero. Such shame. Yeah, it just appears. Maybe I have to drop my lighter?
That that's like legit the last thing I can think of. Like if there's a way for me to drop the light on my settings, then maybe I won't light on fire. Ah, perhaps I should explain further. Perhaps Shogu Iki's fatal error was carrying something that could be a source of flame. <laughs> I literally just said that. <laughs> Fear not. You may make as many attempts as you please from the conversation with the lady. Very well. Remember how to ward off the curse when you return. But bear in mind... Shogo Ikii has no way of realizing it himself, so he must react for him. I'm turning vibration off. I hate how it feels. Select object is the direction keypad. to die first because I think I selected the ladder in like the first attempt so maybe once you die it gives you the option to throw it away because that throw it away button did not show up earlier throw it away huh throw away this lighter why did I suddenly get the impulse to do that yes throw it away sir not sure why but here goes nothing 100 yen lighter discarded. Hmm. Why did you just... Why? Why did you throw your lighter away all of a sudden? Huh? Um, well, I just kind of felt like it. Um, how? Why is she losing it all of a sudden? Could that lighter have been what fulfilled the condition of her curse? But Why? How did I? Ugh, how could you? I'm not pressing. Ugh. <laughs> Dude, why does he make the same face every time he murks people? He's just apathetic. Stoic. That can't be! Ah, oh, my Suchi! Suichi. The Cursed Stone of the Whispering Canal has gained 25% soul dregs. Phew. That was too close for comfort. Was that just a coincidence? Not only was I able to release myself from her curse, she immediately panicked and ran away. Fortunately for me. If she'd have kept her cool and stayed, we would have been at a stalemate. Oh. I should check on my curse stone. It should have gained a lot just now. What the? Ah! Story chart unlocked. Yeah, I think because I had 87 and then that final one was like 25. So I got over 100. Party 
in the interruption, but I'd like to take the chance to tell you about the story chart. This is the screen which will appear when you open the story chart. From here, not only can you see the overall structure of the current story, you can also progress along different branching routes by playing past stories over again. We call this exactly the power that Shogo Iki has sought after. Normally, you would have been able to use the story chart feature freely. However, due to, circum however, due to certain circumstances, it has been locked until now. From here on, you will return to the story chart from time to time at breaks in the story. At those times, you will choose for yourself which story you wish to continue next. By the way, should you use the story chart to replay a past event, do you know what you must do and where? Of course you do. After all, you have gotten this far. What trigger did Yoko Fukunaga set off that led her to die in the way she did? You've come this far several times, so I have every confidence you will be alright. As long as you make sure not to do that thing. However, like with the lighter in the voice earlier, Shogo Iki has no way of knowing that himself. Oh, on that note, I am curious. Have you determined how many people Shogo Iki has killed with this curse? Okay. In the opening sequence, it said um, Shogo was found dead near the river, which was that final scene where um, our curse had more than enough... Um, what's it called? It had more than enough power, so it probably killed him. So, we're probably going to go back. Okay. Let me count in my head. So, first we killed Yoko, the man at the playground. Then we left. We went, we got the lighter. And then we killed the guy in the dark. And then after that was the man on the bridge. We did not kill the man on the bridge. And then... We went, it was the university student on the bridge, the, the high school student, and then and then it was the lady. I had six. Wait, what? It was Yoko, man at the playground, man in the dark room, man on the bridge, wait, man in the dark room, man on the bridge, woman, wait, did I just miscount? <laughs> I think it was five. It's five. <laughs> I see. I see. So that is your understanding of things. As it turns out, the correct answer is... Five. Oh, I was right! Ah, that is correct. I am pleased to see you have such a solid grasp of events. I think you'll be just fine. Please continue the story at your leisure from the story chart screen. Okay, so I guess we go back and then we can choose different routes. Are the questions important? No. Yeah, I think my character died because my... Her stone was too powerful. I still think that.
I'll keep going. So we have to make sure Yoko doesn't die. Okay, wait, now I need to remember what happened right before she died. Somebody's curse was activated because it was that yellow shine of light. We were just talking. I think we were genuinely were just talking. <clears throat> wait, hang on. I've got another question. Hmm? You mentioned the Rite of Resurrection. Are you looking for that too? Do I do I have something to do with the seven mysteries of Honjo? Oh, you're sharp. I could. <laughs> oh, you're sharp. I could cut my finger on you. To tell the truth, it's actually the other way around. What do you mean? Hmm. Well, I started off searching for the Rite of Resurrection, but along the way, I realized that I need to investigate the seven mysteries of Honjo first. I see. So then. So, about the connection between this rite and the seven mysteries, putting together everything we've talked about, my guess is that the original stories behind the seven mysteries, the true stories, are the key to finding the rite of resurrection. And that's why you're here searching for one of them. Do I have that right? Wow! Ten out of ten, you're proving to be quite the capable assistant! Wait, since when was I your assistant? Anyway, this is all just hearsay, but... Some say that what led to the Seven Mysteries coming to be was the Rite of Resurrection itself. Huh? Don't the stories come from the Edo period? I thought the Rite of Resurrection was supposed to be way older than that. Right. It seems that an Omyoji from the Edo period rediscovered the ancient art. Okay, this is all repeated dialogue. Okay, Opogo's the dog. Okay, wait, wait, go back, go back. Like, literally nothing triggered it. Definitely, now I understand why you feel so strongly about it. Thank you for telling me. I know this must be hard to talk about. Yoko, I'll do everything I can do to help you. Yay, I'm so glad to hear that. Let's keep with the hard work then, yeah? Whoa. What the hell? I feel like the air just changed. Oh, okay. Okay, when I first played, I'm trying to remember. I think I looked around before I talked to her. So I think when I turned around, that's when she died. I'm gonna keep talking to her. Yoko? Are you okay? Ah! Hey, what's wrong? Stay with me. No, this can't be! Why? Yoko. It's no use. She is in no condition to talk. Oh, yeah, okay, because I turned around at this point. Keep talking to her. Huh? What? Is calling her name really going to help? I'm already yelling as hard as I can. Shouldn't I look for what's causing this? Yoko. Hang in there, Yoko. Look at me. You're gonna be okay. It's alright. There's nothing there. Yoko. Because 
All the other people I killed when they turned away, they all looked the same. Like white eyes, drooling, crying, snotty. So since she died the same way, if I legit didn't turn around the first time, she would have lived. Kinshi Body Park Part 3 Asterisk. Kinshibori Park, Part 3. Shogo cries Yoko's name in a desperate attempt to wake her as she lies unmoving on the ground. Will this please get through to her? Oh wait, so she's already like, dead at this point. What? Huh? Shogo Iki. One AM. Kinshibori Park. Hmm. <clears throat> Huh? Oh good. You're awake. What? I... um... Are you okay? You were so rattled and confused I thought you'd really lost it. Did you feel dizzy? Have a headache? Are your humors off balance? Wait, this is... This is... Yeah, she's saying it. Wait, what did you say? I think I've heard that before. That's literally the opening sequence. Except, it was her calling for my name. You're the one who said it earlier. Pre-watched. Oh, right. That must have been it. My humors were off balance. What? Back there? You ended up like that because of your humors? Yeah, I've heard that at this age. Your humors, even being a little bit off, can be fatal. I'm glad you're back to normal now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you so much trouble. But I really don't remember what happened. Hmm. Sounds like what happened to me. Maybe this place is dangerous somehow? What? Are you backing out? Yeah, it just doesn't feel safe to me. And I'm worried about you. Let's call off today's investigation. Come on! I just started feeling back to normal, too. Nope. Not happening. Go home. I'll even pay your cab fare, okay? I ended up having to force a still protesting Yoko into a taxi. Even then, she still wouldn't stop complaining. So to placate her, I promised I'd search the park on my own for a little while longer. Why? Kinshibori Park, Part 4 Worried about Yoko after a bizarre incident, Shogo decides to call off their investigation into the mysteries for the night. Despite her stubborn objections, he managed to persuade her by offering to continue the search on his own. Why go by yourself? That's so dumb! Horror Movie 101, never search by yourself. It's just silly! Shogo Iki, 5 a.m. Kinshiwari Park. In further news, before dawn today, a police officer on patrol discovered a man collapsed in a Sumida city park. The man was taken to the hospital, but his death was confirmed shortly after. Investigations are still underway, but police suspect a connection to the other unex unexplained deaths found in the area at around the same time. Wait, is that the end? Okay, so since, like, 
I went back by myself, then that means somebody else got possessed by the curse stone, and then they murked me. Hello. Well done in your efforts thus far. This brings Shogo Iki's story to a close. Ah, uh, but this is not the end. Far from it. In fact, this is where the story finally begins. The rounds of the three protagonists have now been unlocked. Harue Shigima, a woman who lost her son when he was kidnapped and murdered. Tetsuo Tsutsumi, the chief inspector of the first investigative division, who was looking into the death of an officer in the line of duty. Yako Sakazaki, a high school girl who wants to bring her friend back from the dead, a girl who died in a suspicious suicide. Each of them is burdened with circumstances that leave them no choice but to seek the right of resurrection. Following these three storylines will reveal the full nature of all that is occurring. With that, please enjoy the continuation of this tale. Okay. This is a lot more interesting than I thought. Because when I looked it up, I was like, how is this game 12 hours? How can they cram in 12 hours of this? But now I get it. Because, like, it's. I feel like it's leaning into, like, the alternate reality kind of niche. Or not niche, but, like, trope. Okay. I think what we'll do, because since that was three hours, oh yeah, three hours per route. That makes sense, 12 hours. Okay, whenever we play this game, I'll do one route per stream. Just so it makes sense. Um, I will not be playing this every day in a row. I have other Halloween streams planned, so do not worry, guys. Do not worry. It does seem like with the other routes, we'll get a lot more lore in our splicing. And I think that's better. I, I, I personally love playing games when you get to see, like, different perspectives. So this is, like, really good in my opinion. No wonder people rated this, like, 9 out of 10. Like, this, so far, is pretty good. And it's, like, not too, like, cheesy, personally, in my opinion. I think it's pretty good. So, everybody, I think we will pause here for today. I will pick this up another day. I don't know which day. Because let's change to just chatting so we don't be marked as mature anymore. There we go. Now everybody can watch. Okay, so we shall continue this another day. Just to reiterate, for the rest of the week and next week, I'm going to try and stream every day. Halloween streams until the actual Hallows Day. We have NPC stream on Saturday. Oilers, hold until Saturday. We have baking a pumpkin pie for the first time, bedazzling a pumpkin, and much more. Since this game is longer than I thought, I will... I'm debating. Because just looking at the schedule... Because realistically, I don't know if I'll be able to stream every day. Because I have... <clears throat> I opened my gallery, not my notepad. Okay. What day is the pumpkin stream? Probably Monday. I'm leaning towards Monday. I was thinking Sunday, but I might be busy on Sunday. Because, let's see, I have... I have one, two, three... Excuse me. Four... I have six Halloween stream ideas, like just chatting-esque ideas. I'm putting my hair up. So maybe, maybe we can do like just chatting in the morning and then we can play the game in the evening, depending. And if I don't beat this game by actual Halloween day, then I'll finish it in the first week of November. Deal? Cause I definitely wanna do all the just chatting streams I had planned. Keep in mind, they're nothing like crazy. They're just like chill hangout stuff. 
I'm gonna save my game just to be safe. Also, no spoilers. But guys, I got Suica game! I'll play it next week on stream, after Halloween stuff is done. I love watching people play Suica game. Very fun. I need to practice saying, ice cream so good, yum yum. <laughs> Okay, y'all, let's wrap it up here for today. Oh, wait, where's the Halloween Nintendo music? I gotta find that playlist again. Halloween Nintendo music. Musica. Squeaky Game is addicting. Have you played it? Boo! Gary, you played it? Oh no. I'm planning on doing Squeaky Game for a 9 to 5 stream. I have a few gags planned. <laughs> okay, you guys know the drill. If you want attention from your favorite streamer, use your channel points or subscribe and I'll write your name. I saw that. I was I was searching the um, discovery tab for Suica game on Twitch, and they have a Halloween update. It's cute, but I didn't want to play it for stream because it would ruin the YouTube video. Because I wouldn't have time to edit the video until like November or maybe December. So imagine getting a video in November, December that has like a Halloween overlay. So dumb. So I'll wait till they get rid of the Halloween background. Oh, I didn't set up my camera. Oopsie. Oops. Ta-da. Okay, guys. Redeem, redeem. Redeem away. Spooky colors. I'll choose burnt. I call this burnt yellow. Because, like, this is the color you see of your veggies that have gone bad. And I've gotten moldy in the fridge, and that scares me. Playing this week again for eight hours is gonna make you go crazy? That's the big. That's the bit. I think Ludwig literally did a nine hour stream playing Suica game last week. I didn't watch it because the body got taken down for DMCA. But dude, I want that to be me. How long did Cutie stream it for? Because Cutie streams like super late in the evening, similar to Lud. And I usually try to cut myself off from Twitch um, in the evening. Because if I watch a Twitch stream, I, like, I usually chat. But if I watch a YouTube stream, I just put it on the TV and fall asleep. So, I usually don't watch because she streams so late. I did watch some of her like magician stream the other day though. Like six hours, bro. I will commit to playing Suica game for eight hours. I will do it. She played until 5 a.m.? 
I will not commit to playing until 5 a.m. <clears throat> midnight stream when? You know, if I stream till midnight, that's when my real takes will come out and I'll get canceled. Everybody, this is the last name of the day. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points. Well, I was gonna say earlier, like, if I'm, like, in a mood to stream longer throughout the week, like, I might do my just chatting, like, Halloween stream in the morning, and then do three to four hours of the... What's it called? Of the paranormal site in the evening. You'd probably get completely different chatters if you streamed in the nighttime. Yeah, I would either get, like, degenerates, degenerate Americans... Or I would get really wholesome international viewers. But like, I think it's because most of my regular chatters and viewers are at NA. Anytime where I did do like a late late night stream, like for the subathon or my birthday stream, I didn't have many viewers in like the final two hours. Besides the subathon, because I did, we were playing Mario Party. So, but that's because most of the people watching the stream were, like, playing the game. So that doesn't count in my opinion. Am I going to stream tomorrow? Yes. It'll probably be a shorter one because I... They rescheduled the meeting that was supposed to be today for tomorrow. So. Short stream tomorrow, but it will be Halloween. And it will be one of the ones I did not leak. So it'll be a surprise theme. And you guys are going to pog out of your mind. What I will leak, though, is that there will be an overhead camera. Overhead camera will be unlocked tomorrow. <clears throat> Any more redeemers? Last call. Why are you guys hunting? Why are you guys hunting? Why does it say I don't have 7 TV emotes in my channel? Pause chat. did <laughs> I was trying to add an emote last night I don't remember what the emote was but I think when I went to my 7 TV settings like the actual website I accidentally disabled them <laughs> classic they're back guys the little pictures are back It's back. Yeah, every little picture's back. I was wondering why they weren't working earlier, too. Okay, guys. Let's... Let's end it for now. Stop! <laughs> oh my god, Alidity is live. Holy moly. Okay. I will see you guys tomorrow with another... Halloween stream, Wicked Week 2023 has started, everybody. Banger streams all week long, more just chatting, more gaming, more of what you love. If you are a real fan, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channels. I have a main channel for weekly stream highlights and a clips channel. The video coming out this week will be Halloween themed, and it might be from last year. Smile. <laughs> I had fun today. Um... I am very surprised with how much I enjoyed the Paranormal site. It wasn't boring in my opinion, 
Um, jump scares kind of cheap, but you know, they genuinely got me a few times. I'm excited to play the rest of the three routes with you guys later this week or next week. Make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Because this week is going to be a bit funny. Like my schedule is kind of weird. Like I said, we had to reschedule a meeting for tomorrow. And then I have another thing on Friday. But then I might be busy Sunday. So make sure you have notifications on. Because I might not go live at 11. Um, just turn notifications on, guys. And follow my Twitter. Because I'm, I do go live tweets right before I go, go live. That way you guys, if you want, can hang out in the offline chat. Okay. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Ooh, scary. That's too scary? No, it's not. Look, your chat like covers the skulls mostly. You can barely see it. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, everybody, who stayed to the end. I will not say a bad word. Bye.